Thanks so much for joining us here in the Fox 4 Weather Center. We start with a beautiful live look here, looking southbound on US 41 in Port Charlotte, crossing over the Peace River. Everything this morning nice and quiet as we look live from our beautiful Sunseeker Resort Charlotte Harbor Tower camera here. And that's exactly what we can expect. Nice, clear conditions for that Monday morning commute. Where things aren't so quiet, we look toward the plains as well as the Midwest, still dealing with this powerful storm system. Right now, producing wintry weather across parts of North and South Dakota into Minnesota. And then we have some showers and storms here across Illinois. But the severe threat this morning, that's really for East Texas, extending into Southern Louisiana, including spots like Galveston and Lake Charles, seeing a powerful, what we call a mesoscale convective system right now, producing gusty, damaging winds as it races off toward the south. So if you do have loved ones maybe traveling in from southern Louisiana today, could be seeing some hiccups there. That's where we have that marginal threat for severe weather throughout the day today. But thankfully, it does look like our friends in the plains in the Midwest will get a break for today. Tomorrow, though, that threat will increase once again. As for our weather here across southwest Florida, everything this morning nice and quiet. Some of those low level clouds, you can see that with a dark gray across parts of southern Collier County. Otherwise, we're at 67 in Golden Gate, 68 degrees coming in for Naples currently. Little cooler farther inland, 63 for Immokalee and LaBelle. Right now, we're at 59 degrees in Arcadia. Up in Port Charlotte, those conditions currently were at 60. Dew point, the measure of moisture in the air. It's feeling pretty nice outside. Still in the refreshing range with those dew points sitting in the mid 50s. Currently, we are enjoying those calm winds and those winds will gradually increase. They'll stay easterly through the morning commute and then heading into this afternoon, they will become more southeasterly. Otherwise, lots of sunshine expected for the first half of the day. Ideal for those outdoor plans. A little bit more cloud cover developing for the afternoon. But just as we've seen the last couple of days, some of those shallow clouds are expected to produce some spotty sprinkles. So you could be affected maybe five to ten minutes by one of those quick moving rain showers. But heavy rainfall, lightning are not threats for today. So even if you do get hit by one of those showers, at least you don't have to worry about that particular threat late afternoon heading into the evening. And then something else that we will be watching even after sunset, some of those isolated showers developing right along the coastline. So Western Lee County, including Cape Coral, Pine Island, down towards Sanibel, down to Bonita Springs and Naples, even Coastal Collier, seeing the chance for some of those isolated rain showers later this evening, clearing out by around 2 a.m. And then tomorrow morning's commute again, starting off nice and dry. Here at Fox 4, we are always in your community, Sanibel. We can expect sunshine 68 for this morning, heading into the afternoon, partly cloudy skies with those high temperatures in the lower 80s. Elsewhere, it's going to be a little toastier this afternoon, mid to upper 80s on the way, just the 20% rain chance expected. And as we look ahead to the next couple of days, we'll continue to see the chance for some of those afternoon and evening showers and storms. A little better opportunity Wednesday, Thursday, especially farther inland.